Oh, man, look at those fall colors. The fall foliage is at peak here in the Billings area, and it's a little on the breezy side today. Can you see the camera moving around there? Yeah, a little windy here in the Billings area. We're at 54 degrees right now under a partly cloudy sky. Look at the wind gusts gusting up to 40 miles per hour. That's why the camera's shaking so much. Our temps right in the state are basically into the 30s, 40s, and some 50s. 54 here in Billings. You see 51 over at Missoula, 52 at Kalispell. Elsewhere, generally some 40s and uh, maybe a few 30s up there at Cutbank. But we do have a winter weather advisory for one to three inches of snow in the mountain passes on the Rocky Mountain front that stays with us until midnight tonight. And plus the wind continues to howl like a big dog across south central Montana, looking for winds gusting 55 to 70 miles per hour until 6 p.m. this evening. And as you can see, the Doppler radar shows you that northwesterly flow of air caught up in it. Several scattered rain showers, a little snow up in the high elevations up by Great Falls and also in the Beartooth Mountains right now. Well, we have a little backdoor cold front moving in from the northeast, and that'll bring us some cooler temperatures and also a little rain mixing with snow later tonight by 6 o'clock. Then that cold air continues to drop farther south, and the snow will probably go along with it. And so by the time Thursday evening gets here, we're generally cooling off and just drying out. Then on Friday, another warm front moves in. We're looking at warmer temperatures getting back up into the 60 degree range again. But on Saturday, look at this. Could see one to two inches of snow probably in the grassy areas in the Billings area. Livingston could see maybe six to ten inches of snow. It'll be 49 degrees at 530 tonight back into the 30s in the morning. 46 degrees about 1230 tomorrow afternoon. We'll top out at 49 on Thursday. 60 degrees on Friday, then back to the 30s and 40s on Saturday right on through Tuesday. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 5.30 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at KTVQ.com.